Hello sunshine, this is Joy coming to you from Michigan in the United States. I am in my art room early this morning and it is a chilly one, but um, got up this morning and saw that our governor has extended our quarantine till the end of May. And I don't, I don't wanna try to figure out what the best plan is, but that just hit me hard. I'm, I'm ready to have a little more freedom. So I decided I needed some art therapy first thing this morning. So I have this bowl. I got this at Hobby Lobby and it is just over nine inches by nine inches by almost five inches. So, oh, sorry. It's just a wooden bowl. I really love these. They're just so unique and inexpensive at Hobby Lobby. I just put a get bottle down, that's a Gatorade bottle, to balance it on so I can paint on it. So let me show you a couple that I've done before. This one is one that I have on my mantle. It's my favorites, blues and silvers, and then I just painted the inside white and varnished the whole thing. Um, another one that I have as a work in progress, this one is not done. This is my Halloween themed bowl. I'm sorry, I keep bumping my camera. I don't know if I can see my little cat. There's a little owl. So I just did a pour with reds and yellows and oranges and then just went over it adding silhouettes. It was a lot of fun. I really liked this one. And there we're back to the beginning. And this is a larger bowl too. This is quite a bit bigger. Let me see if I can move some stuff out of the way. So this is this bowl. And this is the one I'm doing today. So they have different sizes. I think they had one even smaller than this. But on that one, I noticed that the bottom of it was not flat on the edges. So I see here how there's no lip. The smaller ones have a lip. And I knew that if I painted, if I put the paint on this way, it would pull there. And if I put it on this way, it would have to, I'd have to fix this section because it wouldn't get the, it would flow right over that and not cover it. So... So today I want to do a spring bowl. I have my blue bowl that sits on my mantle. I've got my fall bowl that I plan on using for trick-or-treaters. So I'm going to do a spring bowl. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about the colors I'm using, but I do want to use some more. I'm going to use up the last bit of this gold um, and just wanted to share this little tip with you. I put the Floetrol this was pretty low, like I could barely get any paint out of it. So I added a little Floetrol, and then I'll just take my Sharpie and write plus FT so that I know that this is the one with Floetrol. And then I can keep using this as a container for my paint. So I'm getting ahead of myself here. I didn't mix up. I want to do um, an iridescent pink. Let me find my cups. I don't know, maybe I should add, I have this orange. Look at these oranges, aren't they pretty? This one's fluorescent, I don't think I wanna do that, but I might do a little bit of this cadmium um, orange shoe. So let's get a couple cups and I will just, we'll see how far I get because I don't have a ton of Floetrol mixed up with water. So I may, I may change my mind, but Let's see, I think we're gonna do this one. This is Light Magenta from Master's Touch Acrylics. I think I'm gonna do this one with the iridescent. So this is already in my bottles, I've already mixed it with the flow trough. And because I'm doing a flip cup, I know I'm gonna use a fair amount of paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a decent amount in that cup and hope that it's enough. I might add, oh, there's my iridescent medium and a stir stick. I reuse those stir sticks over and over and over. So I just, I lay them out to dry after I use them and then I don't try to get all the paint off or anything like that. I'm going to lighten this up just a little bit so it's more of a pale pink, more of a springy pink. Oh, you guys can see my horse, my horse tail there on the floor. That's funny. I moved which part of the table I'm working on because some of the drippings from the painting yesterday are just so beautiful. 
And so I want to try to save the paint on the table and use it to make jewelry or um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Jewelry, keychains, I don't know. I'll save the skins and do something with it if you, if you look that up. There's a lot you can do with the skins from the paint so you don't waste it. And if you have a silicone mat and you can put that down, that's, that's a big help as well. All right, this is fairly thick. I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide if I need to add. No, I think it's okay. I was trying to decide if we need Floetra. All right, let's make up a little bit of this orange. And hopefully it doesn't give us too much of a fall look. And this is the Cadmium Orange Hue from Liquitex. It's one of my newer colors. I haven't had a chance to fiddle with it yet. So we'll see what we think of it. And this is just Floetra in water. And it's one part Floetra to one and a half parts water. And I struggle. The Liquitex is definitely a bit thicker than the master's touch. So it's hard to know how much Floetrol to put in, but you know, you just experiment and add a little at a time because if you add too much, it can be pretty hard to thicken it up. Um, if you add too little, that's not as big of an issue. Wow, that is a beautiful orange. It's far too thick, but it's a beautiful color. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more Floetrol this is actually an old freezer GM container. I thought I would get into all that canning and frozen homemade goodness. I did, I guess, for a little bit, but it wasn't my cup of tea. Although I may get back into it, I do plan on putting in a garden this spring. It's still too cold here in Michigan to put a garden. I mean, I guess you could probably start putting seeds in the ground, but it's a little early. I'll probably plant some of my flower seeds, but anyways, it is a sunny day here in Michigan today. It's hard to tell. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference on this video anyways, but the sun is coming through the windows to my right, but they have curtains on them. <laughs> Should have opened them up, brightened it up a little bit in here. And the windows to my left face our backyard and that's all in shade right now, but it's beautiful in the afternoon. All right, let's see. I think that's good. So if you have your paint a little bit thicker, so if that orange is thicker than the other colors, what will happen is it will tend to sit on the top and you'll see more of it. So if you have a color that you're like, I just want a hint, just mix it up a little bit thinner. And I'm going to use up, this is that cadmium yellow with the gold from the last two days, so I'm going to use that up today. I don't, I don't want that to sit around anymore. So let me just check the consistency on it. Oh, it's good. It's good. There's not much there. So, all right. I think we are ready to go. We don't have a whole lot of metallic, but that's okay. Okay, let me see that this is lined up so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, you guys can see what I have this propped up on. Kind of funny, this is this right here. That's our most recent pack of toilet paper that we bought. It will not be out here long because it'll be, it'll need to go inside. Okay, this cup has schmutz in it. So let's get a clean one. So the cup, or the color that I put in the bottom is the color that will be on the top. So we'll probably see a lot of it. So I'm picking a color that I'm okay with that. So this is the quinacridone magenta. No idea if I'm saying that correctly. That's a lot of that. I probably didn't put quite that much in. And let's see. So I'm trying to be very aware of the colors. When I did my flower dip the other day, I just kind of went with whatever I felt like doing. Today I'm trying to think through what exactly I want. I don't want 
a lot of green in this so my blue and gold or my blue and yellow need to not touch there needs to be something in between this might make a little bit of orange but I'm okay with orange and for whatever reason I just don't want green in this one all right set that stick over there to dry that was all the rest of that cadmium yellow plus the 24 karat gold so I think I will do some of this beautiful cadmium orange next. Oh, I'm seeing little chunks, so I'm just going to, on my stick mainly. So it probably had paint stuck on it. So let's add some orange. Okay, sorry about that. I had someone at the door. So, orange, let's do, you know what, I think I'm gonna throw a little white, just to kind of separate the colors. And none of these colors have silicone. I don't really want cells today. Um, gonna try to avoid cells. Oh my goodness, I can't get the cap off my, my blue. There we go. All right, so this is just, a primary blue and I honestly don't remember which you know what this might be the ultramarine yes this is ultramarine which to me just looks like a very it's a pretty blue but almost just like a basic primary blue I'll put a bit of that in and then I'm gonna go to this uh, light magenta that I lightened up even more and that I added the iridescent medium to because that will make a lovely shade of purple, I think. I hope. So I'm just trying to layer these paints one on top of the other. And I don't want the paint to have to drip way down the cup when I flip it. So I'm going to try to get a pretty full cup. This is an odd shape. So doing a flip cup may not be the right decision. But we're going to try. All right, we're gonna go back to that quinacridone. And then some orange. And then, and because I'm using some metallic, that iridescent medium, I haven't worked with enough to say for sure, but the metallics, like this gold that I'm getting ready to put in, for sure can cause cells. But I'm okay with that. I don't mind, I don't mind cells. I just don't want a lot of them. I don't want them to take over. So we'll do some gold. Blue and orange. If that blue hits the orange, it's going to make brown. So let's do some, I'm going to do some quinacridone again. I really love that color. And then I'm going to do some white. I really think I should have used a smaller cup, guys. And then some blue. The ultramarine. I hope this turns out. I hope this is springy and cheerful and happy. All right, let's go with this as the pink that I added the iridescent to and lightened up with just a little bit of white. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that up. These cups, because they're plastic, can be washed and reused. I don't often do that. Um, I may start. They may be something that becomes harder to get. I don't know. Who can tell? I think I'm gonna do go with the orange again. I don't know. These colors are so bright. Is this really summer colors? I guess if it makes me think of summer, then that's that's all that matters, right? That is. Ooh, that could have been really dangerous. Um, one of the things, and I, I, even as my kids had art assignments in school, or when they did art with me, um, I just kept reminding them, you know, art is about you. It sounds selfish, but it's about the 
process and it's about what makes you happy. So I hope, I hope that you guys are able to just find time to make things that, that make you happy. And I hope that this piece turns out to be something that makes me happy. add just a little bit of white and then we're going to call that I'm sure this is way more paint than I need as I look at the, the size of this cup but all right so there's my cup I don't know how to show you guys how it's layered so I'm not going to try because I'll spill it so I am going to so the cup is now under the bowl really hard to show you guys I need to get a shelf for my camera or something I don't know give me your tips on that how do I get a setup that works better all right flip it Put it back on its bottle so it can drip. And I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna recenter it if I can. And one thing I know with these bowls, because they're wood, they really do tend, I'm gonna try to get this balanced, there we go. They tend to absorb a lot of paint. So it may take more paint than you think it's gonna need. I'm just looking at the colors on the edge of the cup going, I don't know. What do I think is going to happen? We'll see. Another thing you can do is stick a pin in the side to let some air in there and that'll kind of help the paint to come out. But I'm just going to, this is going to be such a mess. It's just, it just is. That's okay. Whew, got to work my nerve up here. I like it. I like it, but I've got to get it over this way. So just kind of give it a little bit of a tip. I really love the ribbons in this, so I'm going to try to help it. Where it doesn't have paint, and I don't know if, if you guys can even see this, but I'm just kind of taking my finger and pulling a little bit of the paint down. Oh, heavens. Okay, okay. All is well. Let me pop that bubble. Oh, the cup is pretty too. So I'm just gonna pull the paint down and hope that it won't stay like that. Like I, I need some more paint over here, so I'll just tip this way. Oh, I can see the iridescent too, so pretty. All right, and then we've got a little blank spot over here, so I'm just gonna pull that paint down. You can also dip from the drips I didn't tape this bowl either in the previous bowls. I definitely did. So that may end up coming back to bite me. I hope not. Okay, I see a couple spots. Oh guys, this really turned out beautiful. I'm happy. I'm happy and that's what matters when you're doing your art. It's all about what makes you happy. I'll always love the bottom of the bowl. It's just sad to me because most people won't even see that but hopefully the beauty is on the sides as well this side here is a little bit busy for me but i'm gonna leave it and i will take the camera down and see if i can give you guys a better view of this and get some of this paint off my hands so i don't get paint on everything but it sure did turn out pretty here i'm going to show you the inside of the cup oh i don't know if i can get it so you can see it there's not enough light it just the there's lacing in there and cells and it's just really pretty i might i might just see about let's see maybe this side that i feel like is too busy maybe i will just pour right here and let it drip down and see oh there's some pretty ribboning going on I don't know if that's gonna make it more busy or less, but it's pretty. I like it. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you down and take you in for a close up and hopefully be able to show you most of the edges. All right, here we go. This is the part that I felt was too busy and so I poured a little bit more of the remainder from the cup over that. It's a lovely background with my toilet paper there. I just love that ribboning right there. Oh so pretty all right let me see if i can spin this Ooh, without dropping it <laughs> i love that right there with that blue you know i'm not a pink person but 
I really do love this one. I feel like it turned out just gorgeous. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Hit the notification bell. I would love to share my journey with you. I'm so, so grateful to all of my subscribers and all of my uh, friends who are like, happy to and watching my videos. It means the world to me. Again, this is, uh, this is just about me working through quarantine and working through a lot of emotions that have been brought up because of that. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. I will show you pictures once it's dry at the end of the video. Have a great day. See you on the next one.